It's Top 5 Wednesday! <laughs> and this week's Top 5 list is Top 5 series that you really, really, really want sequels to. Or more books in. So the first series on our list is The Lioness Quartet by Tamora Pierce. And I would read Alana books into her old age. Like, <laughs> no question. Like... She would be a badass grandmother, let me tell you. Oh man, I could totally see her like running the night school. <laughs> like, oh my god, I would pay money for that. Oh my god, and then you could see her with her grandkids, which are Allie and Nawat's kids, and oh my god, it would be the best thing I've they, ever seen. Oh, like, oh, she could go on all these epic adventures her and, with George. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they'd be so cute. I want it so bad. She is writing more books in that world, but Alana will probably walk in. But she won't be a main character. I and I her. miss her. Yeah. yeah. Next on our list. The Raven Cycle. And this really, it's cheating because there's more book, there's one more book coming out. But, honestly, Maggie just needs to keep writing. Just please, never stop because I love these characters. They are so wonderful i love their group dynamic where everyone's kind of in love with everyone like it's you don't see that <laughs> it, it's not like always like a romantic romantic love but everybody's got this like weirdly special bond with it's each like other. it's of course it's so arthurian like you know like the the, the group of like knights you know like camaraderie where like everybody's like there for one another and like oh let's go fight the dragon together like and they've all got their special personalities which each work together in their own separate ways and they form this mesh it's wonderful and the writing style is just beautiful and dreamlike and we've talked enough about this book series go watch our reviews and we, we would just read this to the end of time Next on our list is Graceling, and this series, kind of a series actually. There's three books, but they're they're kind of companiony books. Yeah, like, they are companion books. They're all in the same world. Different characters run in and out, or same characters run in and out. So basically, the first book starts with Ketza, the second book starts with Fire, and then the third book is Bitter Blue. I would really love an, an another book by Ketza because she just. She's just got this really cool life where she's working to help support these kingdoms and orchestrate rebellions. And God, do I love a story about orchestrating rebellions. It is one of my favorite things. Now, if she just, like, dressed up as a boy to, like, hide who oh, she man, is and like... then orchestrated a rebellion. Oh, you would be so down for that. That would be, like, the checklist. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. So, yeah, uh, I would kill for another book from Katz's perspective, and Kristen Cashore hasn't said no to either companion books or another book about Katza, but it's been a while. The next one on our list is so obvious, and I expect this is going to be on a lot of people's lists, and that's Harry Potter. Seriously. <laughs> I want some, like, adult Harry adventures. I want some Marauders adventures. <gasps> Die. <laughs> Die. Can you imagine Sirius as like a teenager? Just how happy would that make you? You could she could do a whole another seven books on I'm those. screaming right now. I want some like Harry Potter second generation stories. Like short stories. Cause I think Teddy would be funny. Like yeah. Teddy Lupin, like I am there for him one hundred percent. He would be such a shit disturber. <gasps> or more Rita Skeeter even. Uh. I would take that. So much. And you know how nuts everybody went when they heard that she was writing that play. Mm-hmm. And I was so like... She's, she's writing the movie starring Space Voldemort. And the last on our list is not a series, it's a book. It is Vicious by E.B. Schwab. And oh my god, guys, this book was written for me. It's like two super villain. One of them thinks he's the hero, and the other one's like, well, if he's the hero, I guess I'm the villain. And they're like ex-best friends, and it's just like <laughs> angsty and glorious, and everyone's superpowers are so twisted. Like, the two characters, like, Victor, the, like, main, like, villain, villain, 
is like he can control pain so he can inflict pain and he can take pain away and then like ellie the like hero is like invincible and he can heal and so like they're just like going at each other the entire time and i just loved it because oh it's just so good and they do that relationship so well like the whole like they're so obsessed with one another <laughs> and it's not really romantic and it's not friends and it's not family it is just pure like crazy emotion <laughs> and it's great mm. and i would kill for a sequel even if it's dealing with other characters not the main characters just like that world is so fascinating oh yeah this is our <laughs> official plea to all those authors we mention to please please write more <laughs> so good these are the things we love love with all our heart Oh, what are your series that you wish had more books in them or books that you wish had sequels? Mm. Tell us in the comments below. And if you liked our video, feel free to subscribe down below. All right.